In this video, we're going to discuss something called count rate. Now, we've learned about activity, which is basically how many radioactive particles you are emitting per unit time. But can you actually count all of that? Because they go in all directions. So typically what we use is something called a Giga-Muller tube. Right? This has a little area over here, which is something like a detection area, but we call that a micro window. Okay, and so you put this tube somewhere, some distance out away from the radioactive source. And so what happens is that you will count some of the radioactive particles, but not all of them. And so what you detect is something called a count rate C, okay, which is of course, um, just write that down, count rate also measured in per unit time. So you can think of it as measured in per seconds. Okay, and so this count rate will be less than the activity, of course, but it will be proportional to it. So how do we calculate the count rate? Well, we need to do something called radioactive intensity. It's called an I. And so what we assume is that because all these particles are being emitted in all directions, okay, if you are at some distance R away from it, these particles would be spreading themselves over an area or, e or equivalent to the surface area of a sphere of radius r. And so i would simply be, the radio in, radioactive intensity i would simply be the activity a divided by that surface area of a sphere of radius r, 4 pi r squared. So this represents the activity per unit area. And therefore, if we know the area of the micro window, let's call it small a, and the count rate is simply that radioactive intensity multiplied by the small a. But there is a catch. In almost all situations, there is something called background radiation, the ambient radiation in the vicinity. And so your count rate will definitely pick that up as well. And so we should always bear in mind that there is a background count rate. Right? This you can do probably assume it's some constant value that doesn't change. And so what that does is that it simply creates some sort of a systematic error in your count rate, and you have to be aware of it. And so, uh, because sometimes it actually matters. So this is what you need to know about count rate.